I need to replace certain words in these products with the new wording. But I can't use substitute function because it can only do one substitution at a time. And I just realized Excel now has a new function that can be used to solve this problem. So let's figure it out. Here are my original product names and I want a new product title by replacing, for example, here milk bars should become milk become whites and bars becomes blocks. So it should be called white blocks. Like I said, if I use substitute, I can take milk bars here. The old text can only be one word and the new text can also be just one word. So I'll get this. But that's not enough because we also need to do the replacement for bars again. So my original choice was to be kind of do multiple substitutions, kind of like in a loop. This gets really tedious and really hard to do if I have got a very long product name. For example, here I have got choco coated peanuts. So I may have to do it like three or four substitutions. So this is not going to work. This is where I realize that the new reduce function in Excel can actually do this job for me. Reduce is one of those Lambda helper functions introduced into Excel 365 and it can kind of loop through a bunch of options and then do the job for us. It's tricky to explain in an abstract way, but I'm going to show the example to you and then it all makes sense. So we start with the initial value, which is my original product title, and then you give an array. So array is a list of values to, through which you want to loop through. So here I have got my old words as the list of values. Now, as I want to drag this formula down, the G5 to G10 should always be here. So I will just lock this to an absolute range. Next comes the function and this is where we use the lambda and then this lambda for the reduce takes two parameters a and b. You can call them anything but I just like to call them a b. a will be the starting value so initially it will be same as c5 or milk bars but as it loops through a will constantly change and b is the current value so it will be the current value in the g5 to g10 so initially it will be choco but it will go down and then there will be other words use it for b. So what we want to now do is we want to do a substitution where we take A and then we take B and we want to replace B with the adjacent column value. So we have all these values available to us and then we want to get the corresponding value from the next column. So this is where we could use a function like offset and then say B stay in the same row. So zero rows, but go to the next column, one column. And then when you close these brackets, Essentially, what we are doing is we are kind of doing multiple substitutions one after another repetitively until all the words are replaced. And when you hit enter, you will get white blocks in one go. And then when you kind of fill this down, you will see all the products have now replaced it with the correct words. So, for example, dark and pure choco becomes intense and pure candy uh, because dark becomes intense and choco becomes candy. I never thought we could use reduce like that, but this is a very fun and an interesting challenge You and I can just solve all of this in really simple way. So go ahead and kind of study this formula. It is available in the video description as well as in the sample workbook. Now you might say that is really awesome man and I agree with you. So I've got a reduce here for you. Hit the like button now. Oh, by the way, you can also do so much more with this Lambda function in Excel. Check out this video if you want to learn a little bit more. I'll see you there.